Piper. You sure manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. <laughs> Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? Pff, you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Deem, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. Seems that execution didn't quite take, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I'd been working on this story about irradiated drinking water in Bunker Hill. I traced the water back to its source through these old sewer tunnels, and what do I find? The children of Adam, setting up like they own the place. Unfortunately, they found me just as quick. Turns out they were not fond of reporters. So, to atone for my trespassing, they decided to make a sacrifice to Adam. Me. I'm kneeling there, about to get the boot into this huge sewer pipe, when suddenly I blurt out, Adam, he reveals himself! And they buy it. They pull me back from the ledge and then gave me their induction ceremony. You are looking at an official acolyte of Adam. It took me a couple more days before I managed to sneak away, get Bunker Hill security to finally clean the place up. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh, uh, thanks, Blue. That's, that's awfully sweet. And unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? So you're not an idiot. Uh, thanks. You too. No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. All right, what's the issue? I'm just terrified she's going to start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but... Personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking, maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl. An all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away. Because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. 
You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess. I, I, thought, I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you want to hit the road? Piper. Blue, you got a minute? Sure thing. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. It sounds like things got better. For the city? <laughs> yeah. For me. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. It started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, <clears throat> well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I, I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on, let's not keep the world waiting. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to Vault 81. But before we do... Let's go ahead and put a level in because I forgot to put a level in in the last video. I apologize. We're going to put the level into Gun Nut. So right down here. Put one into Gun Nut. Alright, let's go ahead and put our pit boy light on. And then we're going to come out here to the railroad tracks. Where we came into the Beantown Brewery at in the last video. We 
We're gonna take a left on the railroad tracks. Go on down by Uberlin Station. And then right over here, where we see this tower off in the distance, this is where we're going to take a right. We're going to raise the satellites over here so we can get a few channels on our pit boy radio. Once they extend, you'll see that we get the Boston City Works beacon and the garbled radio frequency. Scavengers, okay. I don't think these ones will be hostile, but we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Hey. How's it going, friend? You're welcome to join us. Pull up, uh... Patch of dirt, stump, old tire, whatever suits you. Take a load off and stay a while. The good fellowship's on the house. The drinks are how I keep body and soul together. Can I get you something to drink? Oh, we can trade with him. What is this? A traveling bar? I have a lot of friends. I make new friends wherever I go. My friends like to join me for a drink. What can I say? It's a living. So far, the wandering life suits me. I see the world, and my friends always know I'll be coming to visit soon. So, can I get you anything? So, Ron usually has a, like, vendor stand, almost like out in the middle of nowhere. And it could be random where he shows up. So it's very interesting that we're seeing him right here. Sure. Let me see what you got. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. Oh, yeah. Really doesn't get any better than this. He didn't have anything that I wanted. Over here, you can go inside the door just off to the left. There's not much to loot in there, but there's a few things. There's pretty much nothing to loot down there, but you can go down there if you want. We're going to come up here. Be careful. There is oil on the ground. It will catch fire if you shoot it. Just loot in the toolbox real quick. Be really, really careful. There are a ton of ghouls over here. It is so easy to die over here. The main reason we came over to the Forest Grove Marsh is for these mutated ferns. We need to bring these back to an NPC for a side quest. Ghouls are everywhere. Find a spot and just kind of chill there. Take them out as they're running at you. Kind of pop up everywhere, so you just got to do your best to find them. See one running up over here. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. I only have Molotovs now. Damn. I wish I had a grenade. I sold all my uh, grenades. He's like, ah, I don't need them. They're all over there, so I'm just going to come over here. Try to take them out from over here. Don't worry, I'll help you in a minute, dog meat. Right now I'm trying to finish off these other ghouls. Wherever they're at. I think their AI is just confused. Bastard. Sneak up behind me like that. are pretty good at dodging you. Gotta be careful with them. Alright, we finished off the majority of them. There's most definitely more. We're gonna grab as many ferns as we can get, though. And do be sure not to sell the ferns. I have done that so many times, thinking, oh, what do I need these mutated ferns for? I don't even know what I was using them for. And then I gotta come back here and pick some more and deal with the ghouls so yeah if you have to save them at one of your settlements or something like that do so but just make sure you don't sell them that way whenever you're ready to turn them in you actually have them or you can fast travel back to your settlement and grab them some razor grain we'll listen to that hollow tape in just a second taking you so long, but you were supposed to meet me here three days ago. I'm out of supplies, and I'm gonna have to make a run. I can see why that Solomon guy is willing to pay so much for these ferns, cause <laughs> let me tell ya, getting walkways set up here has been a real pain in my ass. Wait for me to get back before you take the first load to Diamond City. I've got a couple of things I want Hey, Sheila! <coughs> that you up there? The walkways look great, but how do I get up there? There you are. You took your sweet time, Neil. Head over on block there. Oh, shit. Girl! Damn! Look out! Run! Run! Help dog me. I didn't think there were ghouls right below me. Apologize. So we came from over there and just walked across all this up to here and then up here. And that's where that hollow tape is. Also, what I did to max out Piper's affinity, which you don't have to do, but it is a good perk to have is I had dog meat in my party. You have to make sure that he's in your party because if you don't and you shoot him when uh, he's just a part of your settlement, everybody's going to get mad in the settlement and start shooting you. So do make sure that he's a part of your party. You get him to sit still. You Yo. say command, stay, and then you shoot him till he goes down and you make sure that it's in front of Piper and you heal him with the stim pack, and she will like that. And I just did that over and over and over again until Piper idolized me. Her perk will allow you to get more experience on 
succeeding and persuasion checks. It's actually pretty nice. We're almost done in this area. We're going to come back down over here. Put on some Radix. I'm not sure what companion I'm going to max out their affinity to next. Hopefully it is Paladin Dance. Every time I hear Paladin Dance's name, I think of Forrest Gump with Lieutenant Dan. We're going to take a left here. Oh, there is a Deathclaw. up too soon please don't kill me mr. deathclaw I'm just trying to kill you first holy moly is that an albino or just a regular just a regular deathclaw that was quite scary that's not normally there but we are in a higher level area, so if you're still a low level, this might be quite tricky for you. Deathclaw Nest. Over there is a dilapidated house if you want to go scavenge through that. Or the one over there as well. You can. I'm not going to bother. We're just going to keep following the road on down. Definitely pick up hub flowers. I know I haven't mentioned this before, but pick them up. They're really good when crafting chems. You can make a lot of different chems out of hub flowers. We're going to come up here into this mausoleum. And we're going to grab a Mirelurk egg. As soon as we grab it, we're going to want to turn around because... Never mind. He spawned before I grabbed it. Okay, so a Myrler King is going to spawn. Keep that in mind. They are dangerous. Not as dangerous as a Myrler Queen, but they're still dangerous. No, did I break the... Okay, I was like, oh, did I break the Myrler Egg? I did not. But normally you can grab the Myrler Egg, turn around, and the Myrler King will spawn then. But either way, make sure that you turn around because you're going to have to fight a Myrler King. Okay, dog meat. I get it. You found something. Where are you at? Okay, quit running off, bud. We're just going to backtrack to the road here. Take a right and continue down the path that we were going down. Over there is a good place to loot, but it is very highly irradiated. Wear some power armor or put on some radex or do both either way, but be careful. The glowing seas over that way. Over here is Robot Park. There's not much here. When you have the Automatron DLC, there's a few things you can do here. But overall, it's very much lackluster on anything to do in here. You can turn on some robots, kill some uh, ghouls, but that's about it. I just came up here to get the Robotics Pioneer Park 
um, marker discovered. That way, if I want to fast travel to it, I can. I'm going to walk down this road. If you want to go up there and kill some ghouls and turn on the robots, you can. They'll do like a little parade. It's pretty cool. We're coming up to a four-way intersection. We're going to be taking the left path over here. Be really careful. We're going to get attacked by a rad scorpion over by this blue car. I like to crouch. Should pop out any moment now. Pretty easy fight, as long as you've been leveling up properly. We're going to go into this broadcast station. Right here we get a live and love magazine. This is going to allow your companions to carry 10 more carry weight. Pretty good. Actually a good magazine to have. Let's go ahead and turn that off. George, we Rex need is in something trouble. New. Didn't you hear him on Our the radio? Audience. For the 10th time, yes. What do you want me to do about it? Those super mutants would kill me in seconds. Rex Fresh got himself flowers. into this what mess. Right in this He'll have up. to figure out how to get out of it. I'm Anne Hargreaves. George and Rex and I run this radio station. George Cooper. Damn glad to meet you. Hi. Rex sounds like he's gotten himself into trouble again. Oh, yes. He's in quite a pickle. Is that some kind of pun about super mutants being green? I appreciate the attempt at levity. But my mood is quite dour, what with Rex being in the hands of those brutes. You can make this lady into a vendor. We put on some wonderful radio plays. You should listen sometime. <clears throat> I'm worried about Rex. Those super mutants are so brutal. I suppose you want me to go help him. Oh, I thank you for offering. I'm ever so grateful. What do you do here? I used to make the costumes for our plays. Back when we still put on live shows. But that became too dangerous. So now I'm just one of the actors in Rex's radio plays. How would you like to work for me as a seamstress? That does sound interesting. Okay. I'll do it. I think I'll enjoy making clothing. I just want to trade a few things. WRVR is our pride and joy. I should do some vocal warm ups. <sighs> She's probably up top there. So annoying with those NPCs. They constantly walk around and you're trying to talk to them instead of sitting in place talking to you. Then they'll exit dialogue. You don't know if they're actually going to do what they're supposed to do or what. But hey, at least we got a new vendor. We're going to come down this way. We're going to cross this bridge over here. There's an area where an event can happen. So we'll see if there's any type of interesting event over here going on. Be careful of the hole right there. You can fall down pretty easily. Not hard to get back up, but you still don't want to do it. They were spicy.
That's not bad at all. But I'm wearing combat armor now, so I'm not worried about the leather armor anymore. Over here we can see a teddy bear. That is a bus driver. Always love the teddy bears and the mannequins. They always tell a little story. Over here to the right, we're going to go over to Egret Marina. Be really careful. If your sneak's not very high, there's a ton of landmines and trip wires, all kinds of stuff. Go ahead and lockpick this door. Yes. Get that tripwire disarmed. the gold watch we can go up here there's not much up here besides a cooler so it's up to you if you want to come up here I always like to check the coolers just in case you can get some chems or something out of it so over here what I like to do is get on this side and get a running jump and then I can loot all this They're pipe pistol weapons, so I'm not going to bother with them. Well, pipe weapons, because not all pipe weapons are pistols. Come over here and unlock the door. Got it. And we're going to stay crouched, and we're going to go over here to the boat fueling area. Disarm the tripwire and the makeshift bomb. And then right over here, we can get a wasteland survival guide. Yes. This is going to allow you to get 50% more health from irradiated packaged food and drinks. It's okay. It's not bad to have, but it's all right. Grab what you want. I'm a bit of a loot whore, so sometimes I take a little too much, especially things I may not need. We're going to talk to an NPC real quick. Uh, <clears throat> Kid, I don't know who you are, but you better clear out before I go haywire and blast you. Whoa, slow down. I just want to talk. Right. You just strolled in out of the Commonwealth looking for synth to talk to. What makes you think you're a synth? Blackouts. People I've hurt that I don't remember. Any second now, they might send some signal. Or I'll see the color orange. Or whatever it is they do and... Boom! One more dead fool. Now, are you going to get out of here? Or wait for them to make me kill you? There's got to be more to this. What happened to make you think you're a synth? Look, kid, you're taking a risk staying here to talk to me. But if that's what it'll take to get you to leave, my grandson Samuel and I were on our own since my daughter died. I managed to get us in on a farm. Hard on these old bones, but it kept us fed. I was on watch one night. I... I don't... I'm sitting there with a gun across my knees looking out over the hill, and, and I think I fell asleep. It, it, it's just blank. The next thing I remember is the sound of a gunshot shaking me out of it, and Samuel is at my feet, and 
There's blood everywhere. I know this must be hard for you. Please, tell me the rest. There's nothing else to tell. Everyone came running out, but it was just me and Samuel. No raiders, no gunners, just blood. One moment he was there, and then the next, just gone. Those little fingers that used to hold my hand, and it's all my fault. You can't imagine what that's like. I saw my wife killed, my son taken, and was powerless to stop it. I understand how you feel. I... I, I didn't... I hope you find him. Family is the only thing worth a damn in this world. But I guess he wasn't really my grandson. They must have just given me those memories. Because who could have done that to their own flesh and blood? Now you know why I'm here, and why you need to leave before they make me kill again. I'm a synth, and I can't be trusted. Maybe you are a synth. That doesn't mean you can't change. Don't you get it, kid? I'm too dangerous. I'll just end up hurting someone else. We need good people for the Minutemen. It won't change the past, but... Maybe you can help some people. You'd still ask for my help, knowing what I've done? I don't know. Let me think about it. Look, I, I'm sorry I drew my weapon on you, kid. I think you're right. I gotta find a way to make peace with what happened. And I can't keep running from it. Now we can make Egret Marina's a settlement spot. I feel really bad for Phyllis. I feel like either she has PTSD really bad or she's starting to get Alzheimer's or dementia, either one. Um, so I feel really bad for her. Fine. Just do whatever you came here to do and get the hell out of here. And stay out of my stuff. So if you want to get into this safe, you got to go into this terminal. Go to save control and disengage the lock. Now we can loot all of this stuff. If you want to sleep here, you can. You'll get the well-rested perk because it is technically your settlement now. Right here we have a landmine. Make sure you're crouching before you disarm them. Or you will set them off. I'm pretty sure you'll set them off if you're not crouching. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. And we're going to follow the road around. That is really good for anybody using like plasma or laser weapons. Hell yeah, that is a pretty decent one to get. She's still making her way to our settlement. We're going to backtrack just a little bit. We can see the bridge we crossed earlier. We'll take a right down this road and then right over here we're going to have a ton of super mutants. So be ready for that. Don't be nervous. We will make sure that we kill them all. Now be very careful because there is a suicider super mutant over here. What I like to do is throw a couple Molotovs. Start burning them up a little bit. Take these guys out. They're not too bad. 
you should be able to take them out fairly easily. As long as you have been leveling up pretty frequently or at least regularly, you should be all right. If you're running low on ammunition for your 10 millimeter, you can always wait at Sanctuary and Trash Can Carla comes around pretty Skull Fragment. Okay, I thought it just said Skull for a second. Uh, she comes around pretty frequently. Usually like every other day, you'll see Trash Can Carla there and you'll be able to buy some 10 millimeter and 38s from her. Over here, we have an Eddie Winters holo tape. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Message to Claire Pazinski. Time to start thinking about a vacation. How does six weeks in Ireland sound to you? Dublin, Galway Bay, Waterford. Maybe a week in that little bed and breakfast in Kilkenny. And don't worry, we don't have to take my cousin Stephen with us. Let him get out of the country on his own. I told him to threaten that cop, not blast him in the face with a shotgun. He can rot in that abandoned fishery down in Union Wharf for all I care. Love you. Eddie Winter, signing off. Nice. Should have just grabbed it all, hit square. Grab all. We're going to go downstairs. A couple things to get over here. Mini nuke on the floor. I'm not sure if that's always there or not. Dude, dog meat. You are like completely in my way. Every time I go to move, you move right into my way. Right here you can use... Dog meat. You're freaking me out, man. Opening doors. Right here you can use this to unlock the door here but I prefer to get as much experience as I can get. So if you want to skip the pit lock picking, you can use that uh, terminal over there. That's it. Excellent. Get the astoundingly awesome tails. This will allow you to do 5% more damage with scoped weapons. Good to have if you're a sniper. We're going to hack this terminal. Let's turn on our pit boy. It's starting to get dark, so everybody can see just fine. Sweet. That's it. Okay, now that we looted the two safes over here, we're going to go out back. There are some lights up here. If you're trying to be really sneaky, you want to take them out. Totally up to you. Yes. Be really careful getting into this. Not much you can do about not opening this trailer or er, not opening opening this trailer and not uh, triggering the trap just do your best there's not really much in here it's up to you if you care to lock pick that I hear something don't worry I'm gonna come for you bud let me just finish looting. He's up top here. I'm gonna come out over here where the fence is. Open this up, take a left. 
We're going to go straight down here. We're going to be working on getting the baseball memorabilia for the vendor, the swatters guy. There's pretty much nothing in there besides a couple of boxes, but they're unlootable, so I wouldn't bother. Turn our pit boy lamp off. So you can go right or left. We're going to go left first. want to get all of the baseball stuff the glove the card and the signed ball first one is right here the signed catcher's mitt What are you looking at, dog meat? I'd break these or else you're going to have to deal with some baby Meyer lurks. They're not something that's going to hurt you really bad, but they are pretty annoying. We're going to go in this house. You pick this stuff up. That's nothing important, but you can scrap it for leather. Let's go ahead and lock pick this safe. Nice. This is where we're going to find the signed baseball. <laughs> Freaking razor claw. <coughs> Take that, bud. Right here we have an Unstoppables magazine. Excellent. This is going to permanently gain 1% chance to avoid all damage from any attacks. Pretty decent once you build enough of them up. Here's our signed baseball card. This is the last thing we needed. And then over here is nothing so we can get out of here there's some more hub flower over here for anybody that may be collecting it we're gonna follow the road straight up here to the railroad tracks We're going to take a left down the railroad tracks. Just keep going down here until we get to the patch of mushrooms right here. We're going to take a right. We'll see a destroyed car and truck. That's how you know you're on the right path. And just keep going like northeast-ish. As long as you see the cog wheel looking thing on the mini map or the compass, then you're going in the right direction. Now normally there's Cricket over here. Doesn't look like she's over here. She will sell us a lot of really cool guns. The main one that's really good is the spray and pray that she can sell you you can rest out here uh, for as much time as you want until cricket comes around and talk to her and she will um, buy it 
uh, not bypass, but go over to uh, Sanctuary after talking to her. So every vendor that you meet in the Wasteland, eventually they'll go over to Sanctuary and visit as long as you've talked to them at least once. Alright, now that we have all that said, Cricket's not here. She's normally right here. This is where she'll be chilling. Uh, but unfortunately, she is not here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come outside of Vault 81 and end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.